Hello there, continuing my journey of beauty discovery with Japanese makeup. Japan has been top of my travel wish list for years, but I'm getting there through the makeup world first. After two videos trying Korean beauty earlier this year, so many of you'd recommended Japanese products I should take a look at, so it's great to have partnered with YesStyle again to try a range of leading brands from Japan. J Beauty, as it's sometimes called, seems to embrace a similar natural style to K Beauty, with that emphasis on flawless skin and fresh pops of color on the lips and cheeks. Sounds good to me. I browsed Yes style for hours narrowing down my choices. No prizes for guessing. I was drawn to some famous cream blush brands plus a couple of great tinted balms. You can use the code Matilda10 for 10% off your Yes style order. Details in the description box. Canmake's Stay On Balm Rouge came very highly recommended from viewers. I only recently uploaded a super-sized sheer lipstick and tinted balm video, and these two would certainly be included next time. Some of the Korean balms I tried previously were a bit sticky on the lips, but these are exactly what I want in a tinted balm. Super smooth, comfortable, and balmy. They glide on and leave a lovely wash of colour behind. Masquerade Bud is a delicious, deep, ruby red that you can layer to be more or less intense. But Chocolate Lily is much more subtle, less pigmented, pigmented than the first so it just gives your lips a slight browny berry tint. Off to a great start. Can Make's Cream Cheek was certainly the most frequently suggested product. You all know me too well. I filmed these little faceted compacts before I started using them because I wanted to capture just how glass-like that surface is. You can just about see your reflection in it. I chose four shades with a fresh spring-summer feel, but I'll just pause to let you enjoy that first swatch. Sweet Apricot is a suitably titled milky peachy apricot. Seems to have a tiny bit of shimmer too, so it freshens up the face. Coral Orange actually seems more baby pink to me than coral or orange, but but it's a lovely flush of color. Clear Red Heart is slightly different. This one has a gel-like sheer formula rather than the other creams. Such intense color in the compact, but it's nice and subtle on the skin. And finally, Almond Terracotta, the most me shade of the bunch by far. A lovely rosy brown that makes a great eyeshadow too for a color blocked look. Really impressed by the soft, creamy, lightweight feel of all of these. Another Can Make Cream Blush made it into my shopping bag. The Your Cheek Only tint in the shade Orange jumped out at me because of the color and the fact it's a cream blush stick, obviously. I'm addicted to them. It's an interesting, almost jelly looking transparent stick, but it is bright. Looks can be deceiving because it goes on very sheer and subtle, then develops into a serious stain. A really bright coral that sticks around all day, so you don't need much. Go easy, much brighter than it is here. The texture is very cooling and super dewy on the skin. Shiseido's Minimalist Whipped Powder Blush has been on my cream blush wish list for well over a year, and once again it came highly recommended. Whipped Powder is a perfect title really. It's a super soft whipped mousse texture in the pot, but goes on with a smooth powdery finish. A little bit of shimmer to it too. I went for the shade 7 Setsuko that's described as a rose, but it's a little peachy too. Kanibo's Mono Blush also appealed, partly because the shade Peach Pink seemed like a lovely eyeshadow too. This is a dreamy formula. The texture is incredibly smooth and creamy with that slightly whipped feel again. Blends beautifully, so I love using this in a peachy cheeks and eyes combo. Clé de Peau might sound French, but it's a Japanese brand. Such a big fan of their famous concealer. It's the best I've ever tried and the only one I've used for the last four or five years, but I was interested to try their Powder Blush Duo. It's sold as a refill and the casing it comes in could keep it safe, but they also have a powder blush duo case in this dark deep sapphire with quite a nice compact blush brush too. Pop the refill in there and replace it when it's finished. You know how much I love cream blush so the peach and pink shade 103 actually appealed to me as an eyeshadow. Again there's just something so sweet about a wash of pink shadow with a red lip a la Lily Collins and Katie Jane Hughes. Always a combination I love wearing and this is perfect for it. Such a beautiful silky soft powder that feels barely there. Very successful. Particularly enjoyed that Almond Terracotta Can Make cream blush shade, can makes red masquerade bud, tinted balm, maybe Kanibo slightly out in front of Shiseido, they were both very nice, and the beautiful Clé de Peau powder blush. Please let me know if you're a J Beauty fan and if you have any tips for other Japanese brands or general Japan travel tips, I'd love to hear them. Definitely going to visit one day so it'd be great to get your favourite food, sites and cities, plus the beauty stores you discovered. Thank you again to YesStyle for partnering with me. Where do you think I should go next on my beauty travels? I've got my eye on some brands from the Philippines but they don't ship internationally but there are plenty of other videos on my future filming list featuring beauty from different destinations. Thanks for watching. See you next time.